So here, clearly, red will win, because all the time it's over the threshold. Blue is not true. OK. So the average here doesn't work. What about this case? So blue again, blue now is the most uniform one. Almost the same quality all the time. You, here you get the average, clear and average. But the red improves some queries, goes down in other queries, but the average is better, right? I hope this captures the intuition. What is better? Do you want to have a, a search engine with a lot of variants that will amaze you with some queries and really make you unhappy with other queries? Or do you want something more consistent? Especially, again, if the threshold, the green line, is there. And then you, half of the time, you are unhappy. Here, again, I would prefer the blue one. Let's give you this last example. This is related to the last comment on, on, on the last slide with text. Again, we have the same. The red clearly looks worse than blue. And the average of red is worse than blue. But when you put the threshold, the red does a good improvement for the worst query. And all of them are above the threshold. So again, the average here will not work. And we will say, OK, the red is better. Because for this tough query, that's clearly much better than the other search engine. And this example will be the, I guess, the motivation. This example will be the motivation for the last part, thing I want to show you. But the good thing is that you see new, new measures that try to capture these ideas. So there's people at the Microsoft Research Cambridge that are measuring also the variance. And, and there's a one paper published this year, the first one. But they are trying to focus on this variance problem, which I think is very important. You don't want to surprise the user. Uh, Julio, I, I didn't see Julio, but I'm sure he's here. They are. So working with clustering, and I saw a very interesting talk by him uh, two weeks ago in Valencia, has this new measure that is very interesting called unanimous improvement ratio, that basically you count how many times you improve over the other search system. And this captures some of the ideas I put in these examples. Doesn't capture the weighting part, but captures the improvement part. So I, I got a draft, so it's still not published, but you can ask Julio when will be published. So the best idea will be weight the relevant improvements. So for example, count only queries where you had bad user experience. There should be the focus of, of say, web retrieval evaluation, at least for us. But then you get other problems. You get the problems of how to assess the quality of answers, right? How to measure user experience, how to compare. And at the end, what's important here is relative. Are you better than the competition? Yes or no? I mean, it doesn't matter too much the absolute value. And then we came up with this, this new idea, mainly by, by Hugo, disruptive set analysis. And this is also part of this paper we are presenting in CIKM 2010. And, and it's a new way to compare search engines. So this is the last example of research I want to show. So basically, why we need to compare all the queries? We should really compare ourselves in the queries where people is not happy. And we cannot measure happiness, but let's assume that DCG measures happiness. Okay, let's do this uh, really wild assumption. DCG will measure something on the users. And then we classify the queries in four different sets. The sets are, this is a solved query. We know how to do this, really, we don't need to improve them. Second, hard set. We don't know how to do this. We should work on this. Tie set. Well, these are difficult or easy, but we are doing as well as the competition, less important. And then disruptive sets. 
here we are much better than the competition, or here the competition is much, the competition is much better than us. Of course, we have to work on the queries that where the competition is better than us. And we tried this with the three top search engines. So what's the idea? These are the sets. So let's take in, in one axis the DCG of one search engine, and let's take on, on the other axis the DCG of the other search engine, and here you get the, these five sets. So solve set, let's say, is this. It's a weighted DCG. Completely arbitrary. I will, at the end, I will say something about this. So completely arbitrary where we put this square. The tie set will be this diagonal. Completely arbitrary how, how much is the width of this diagonal. And then the hard set are these queries that really are very hard to solve for both search engines. So both search engines have problems here. And then you have these two sets where one search engine, two, is better than the other search engine, one. But this set, search engine one, is better than the search engine two. I'm sorry I can't tell which one is which, right? But we will see examples. And then you have to decide these two thresholds, hard and salt, that will divide these two squares. Here, there's an example. And also widths for the type set. And then you get results. So for example, five minutes, or five minutes more. So this is, this is what you get. So all the, search, all, the search, uh, all the search engines. And here I want to show how the sampling changes. So these are the, what we talked about before about the sampling. If you take unique and then you correct using the right frequencies, these things change a lot. So you see the hard set in the right distribution is very small. So we can say that web search is solved, right? Only very few tiny part of the the space is not solved. However, that means uh, that we are doing, uh, we're saying that DCG works, so, so that one we're not sure. So then we'll skip this, basically, the, if you see DCG equality frequency on all the search engines, you see everything. So everywhere where you have another search engine better than you and vice versa, so you see all the possible cases. So it's, there's no clear winner. Same here the graph of DCG for three search engines, you see that the lines change uh, in several places. So these are the real results. So these are the percentages taking the three pairs of the three search engines. So A, B, B, C, and A, C. So these are the percentages. The percentage inside the parentheses is with the corrected sampling, which is the real sampling, the real distribution. So for example, if you do the usual sampling that people do, you get 40% on the solver set. If you correct, you get 91%. So most papers that do this kind of sampling on power law, the normal one, are doing it really bad. Hard set, in the corrected sampling, only 0.2%. So there are not too many queries where people don't like it. And the disruptive sets, so good news in some sense. The competition is over a small percentage of queries. 4% for one search engine, 2% for the other search engine. And of course, they are against these two numbers. Navigational queries, they are solved much better. So 96% of the navigational queries are already solved. Of course, non-navigational queries are the hard, hard ones. Only 61 are solved, 61% are solved, 31, 39% are not solved. And here is where you have largest disruptive sets. So what about stability? If you change these thresholds, well, things really doesn't, they don't change too much. So it's quite stable. So you change, say, the width of the, this diagonal, and then you see that the percentage goes from 2% to 2.5%. So it's not really. Uh, High. So this is quite robust against these changes. Still, it's based on DCG, and that's the main problem. So to end, I can send the presentation later, but here are some reference. I, 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 I got a nice help here from, here from Emine Gilmas that to, told me which was trendy and like user, new user models based on intuition, 
user models based on real data. Uh, so for example, this is work of Yahoo, the first one. This is Microsoft. This is Yahoo, this is Microsoft. So search engines are worried about this. Session-based evaluation, you should know about that. And cross-sourcing, cross -source, cross we had a workshop at last year about this. So, questions? <laughs> 